BBC News with Stuart McIntosh. Demonstrators have set up tents outside Israel's parliament as part of a last-ditch attempt to halt the government's planned reform of the judiciary. A debate by lawmakers on the first of the measures is expected to start on Sunday. Thousands of people have been evacuated from homes and hotels on the Greek island of Rhodes to escape raging wildfires. The fires, fanned by strong winds, are now almost at the seafront. Officials in Canada say the heaviest rains to hit the Atlantic region in 40 years have triggered floods that have left thousands of homes without electricity. The Premier of Nova Scotia has declared a state of emergency in several areas. A new constitution has been proclaimed in Mali, issued by the military junta after a popular vote it increases presidential powers and enhances the position of the military. Cambodians go to the polls shortly with the main opposition party banned. Prime Minister Hun Sen is almost certain to extend his 38 years in office. He recently said he was ready for a transfer of power, signalling that his successor could be his eldest son, Hun Manet. The leader of Belarus, Alexander Lukashenko, has arrived in St Petersburg for talks with President Putin on Sunday. It's their first meeting since Mr Lukashenko played a key role in ending last month's mutiny by the Wagner private army. There have been reports of two loud explosions in the Ukrainian port of Odessa shortly after the regional governor said air defence systems had been deployed to fight off a Russian attack. Odessa has come under nearly nightly attack since Moscow ended a grain export deal. Thousands of Iraqis have joined demonstrators in Baghdad, sparked by the burning or damaging of the Koran during recent anti-Islam protests in Sweden and Denmark. Several Muslim-majority states have expressed fury over the desecrations. BBC News.